Tango is a screen recorder extension that basically takes screenshots of your steps, turns them into a training manual, but it takes it a step further by creating an interactive guide that then walks you through how to click things on your screen and jumps out at you and highlights the things to click. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to record a Tango and how to review it. And then we're gonna get into pricing and then finally talk a little bit about Tango's competitors. So when you sign up for Tango, you're going to look at something like this, what they call the um, recordings, they're called workflows. So you're going to need to install the extension as well. It's gonna be on the website. You just click it, add to Chrome or um, Microsoft Edge if you, if you have either of those. So you'll see it kind of up in this right hand corner. Um, so if you ever want to record one of these tangos, you just click that and start recording. But I'm just going to click new workflow because that is um, how you how you start a new recording or flow, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to go to ghost really quick. So that way I have that up because I'm going to record how to log into ghost and maybe make a new newsletter post. So if I click new workflow, it's going to say um, choose a tab to start your workflow. I'm going to start on this tab, start capture. And then you'll see it kind of look on the left here. You can kind of see that it's recording. Press sign in, right? And then type that in, continue. And you're just gonna walk through your actual recording of what you would do if you wanted to actually um, do the thing or train somebody on it. So I'm gonna click posts. I'm gonna click this plus button, new post. Okay, publish, maybe say not right now, schedule for later. Let's just schedule it for, I'm gonna do maybe like August 8th, why not? Okay, continue. And then I'm not gonna actually publish it. So let's say you wanna stop there you can stop, click that little plus button in the left hand corner, and then bam, look, confetti pops up. <laughs> and then you have this nice step-by-step -step guide. Now, if you look at it, it looks great, right? Like you'll see, oh, there's three steps that are in here and then, you know, 12 that are in, or nine, nine more steps, so 12 total. And you'll see, you can like drag and drop these around. And it's like step-by-step -step guide, how to do this, blah, blah, blah. It highlights exactly where to click in orange zooms in they're super nice you can see they're really cool save workflow and then there you have it you're you have it saved now the cool part and this is the part that i haven't seen other companies copy yet yet and it's where you click into here and then instead of saying like just following step by step i this is very similar to how scribe does it but if you you can press this guide me button at the top and it literally guides you through. See, like it's almost as if it's on your screen. So it's like no brainer. So if I click sign in, it checks that off on the left, right? And then when I, when I click there, it checks it off. And when I press continue, it checks it off. So you can also get insight and see how many people are actually completing your flows from start to finish. Where are people getting hung up? That kind of stuff, because it tracks if the person actually did it correctly. So then let's just say, you know, pause or close. Let me get out of here now that I've made multiple posts. And you can see in here, it's still in here, but it's so cool because the guide me feature is just, it's just everything. <laughs> like that, is, I mean, it's just so cool to see. So you can share and export this as well. So you can copy the link, you can embed it on you know, a platform like SharePoint. SharePoint has an embed feature, so you can embed it directly on there. Um, you can export it, so you can download it as a PDF. Um, there's just all kinds of really cool features as well. You can also see the analytics. So if I set this out, right, and I can view the analytics and say, look, this is how many views it got in the last seven days did people actually complete it? So you'll get actually insight on if people are actually using your flows, your workflows, whatever you want to call it, scenarios, um, and see it live here. So if somebody were to go through it, I can see, oh, they actually got hung up on step five. I, it is, I mean, the guide me thing is something that I'm like 
that is so impressive because you know those types of coworkers where you send them something and they're like, I don't get it. Like you click here, but like actually having it take over their screen and like show them where to click. I mean that, that's next level to me. And I also really like this feature on the left here as well. So you can kind of click and jump to each step. That is really nice to have that table of contents because not all um, companies have that. So now let's talk about pricing. So it looks like right here, the starter plan, you could have up to 25 workflows, which is actually quite a bit, but they know that once you have committed to do your 25 workflows, you're going to want more and more and more. So the pro plan is actually not bad. $16 a month is not terrible. Um, I think Scribe is like $23 a month and I've been paying for Scribe. So 16 is very fair. Um, you also get the desktop version, which I very much prefer. <laughs> because then you can do, you know, Excel, you could do Outlook, you can do stuff that is on your actual desktop and not just, you know, in your browser as well. Um, I will say, if you want a free version, the Scribe, I believe, is unlimited. I, I need to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. And I'll show you the competitors in a little bit. So if you want to try any of these plans, I will link some links below on the pricing and um, I will also show you my whole review on Scribe as well, which we'll get into in a second. So this is actually not too bad. Um, $16 a month, I think that's fair. Um, very online with some of the other softwares that I've been checking out, like Guide and Scribe, which we'll get into. Enterprise obviously is gonna be uh, a custom solution. So, but I don't think any of you guys will be needing Enterprise. But this is pretty good, so give it a try. Try the 25 flows. Um, and try out some of the other competitors as well to see which one you like best. Okay, so let's talk some competitors. So the main competitor, and this is how I got really into this, this more software SOP generation guide type stuff was uh, Scribe. So I pay for Scribe, $23 a month. I'm on the pro plan. I will link it below. I did a whole review on it and I also have an affiliate link. So this one is the one that I've been using the most. And so I have, basically these are the same things as the workflows right they look almost identical like if you look at that one and compare it to the one that we just made right uh if we go back to my home here and uh, did i delete it let me refresh um if you compare the scribe one yeah here we go if you compare it to <laughs> this one it's like almost identical as far as it just doesn't have that left hand panel, but it, it's the same thing. If you go in to edit it, you have like this drag and drop, like it's almost identical. And the share, the share is also, the buttons are even almost in the same place. Uh, they have export, they have the smart embed, they have everything that the other one has. It just doesn't have the table of contents, um, but it's, it's almost identical. Um, and they're both beautiful softwares. So they're both very pretty. The thing that uh, Tango does not have is they don't have actual pages at least from what I could tell I can create a page like a newsletter page It's just a blank page I can add all kinds of text and then I can embed the workflows within the page Which I personally like because I think you need you know, I like to have a flow chart some links You know, I like to write some words. Maybe I'm a little bit too wordy, but I like having that functionality and from what I could tell Tango does not um, at least when I was playing around with it, I see workflows, you can make a folder, but I couldn't see like an actual page. So that is something to keep in mind that Scribe has that Tango doesn't, but Scribe does not have the feature where it's the guide me, which they might add that in the future, which I'm hoping they will, but they don't have it right now. So you kind of have to pick and choose which features you want more than other features. The other competitor, which I don't actually use too much, but I feel like I should mention it because some people really like the AI voiceovers, is you can do the same thing, capture the how-to video, you know, click, 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 but then it generates it into an actual video, which you'll see here with an AI generated voiceover. And there's nothing special about the video. It's literally just, hey, click here. You, It also has these step-by-step -step guides. I don't find it as, user-friendly as um, Scribe. So I went and stuck with Scribe, but I think this is also very cool if you want an AI generated video instead of a step-by-step -step guide. So that's an option as well. It really depends on what you're looking for, um, but I could recommend all three of these because I like them all individually. Um, but Scribe is the one that I'm currently paying for and I'm hoping they add the little guide me feature. 
um, because I'm definitely gonna play around with tango and try to film some <laughs> some tangos because that might be enough to switch me over from scribe to tango because that guide feature is like you can't possibly go wrong with it, right? Like somebody could literally have it, have them guide them through it. That's something I just have not seen before. All in all, this is a great software, highly recommended, especially if you're working with coworkers who are bugging you and pinging you about, I don't know how to click this or do this properly. Having the guide me feature is very cool. Now, if you do want the actual Word document type page to go with it, then check out Scribe as well. It's also a great software. It just doesn't have that guide me feature that is just so cool. But if you wanna see a full review on um, Scribe or Guide, I have them both below. I will link them up here and in the video description so you can get a full comparison of the three before you make a total commitment on a software.